Hello and welcome back. My wife has been wanting me to shave my beard for a while. She doesn't mind the beard, but she wants to see me without it. I, on the other hand, want to keep my beard. So we settled on a bet. I'm going to play 20 of the most popular normal speedruns in Mario Maker 2. And if I die even once in that run of 20, the beard is gone. Will I have a beard by the end of this? Let's see. A music speedrun. This should be fun. Man, how are people so creative when it comes to creating these music speedruns? Just sounds great. That's one off the board. I think I've got a pretty good shot at keeping my beard, but 19 more to go. Celestial Sprint speed run. Only 20 seconds. Let's go. Even though this is a uh, normal level, it still isn't a gimme. I, st I still could lose this. His jumps aren't exactly just a give me, but this one didn't get me. Two down, 18 more to go. Foot deep in poison, another 20 second speed run. So I'm recording this on the uh, day that Super Mario Maker 1 went offline. Kind of a sad day. I still remember uh, when that game was announced and just how excited I was that there would be endless Super Mario content. What a, what a concept, what a concept. That's three down, 17 more to go. A Japanese speed run, let's see what we got. I grew up on Mario. I mean, I, I had an NES as a kid, played the heck out of Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, one and two as well, but three was three was my game. Um, played Super Mario World, of course, on the Super Nintendo, and I mean I've just loved Mario games from the beginning. So uh, Mario Maker's been just like a dream for me, and uh, it's been fun to learn more than just the basic Mario platforming. To learn some of the light Kaizo stuff and have some of these challenges that you don't get in a traditional Mario game, I really appreciate it. Alright, that's four down. Sixteen more to go. Auto switch castle. You know, some people have criticized speedruns because they're not the most challenging content in the game. And I would agree with that. There's definitely more challenging levels than these kinds of speedruns. But there is something satisfying about this kind of a level. I, uh, I really enjoy it. Now, I'm glad to have a variety and to be able to play other levels at, at, uh, at the same time, but uh, speedruns can be fun. I really, really think a lot of these creators are quite, uh, quite creative as they're putting these ideas together. Oof. Gosh, hopefully the timer's uh, lenient on this one, otherwise I uh, might not have my beard much longer. I almost didn't make that uh, saw. <laughs> Five down, 15 more to go. Another music speedrun from Japan. I just uh, can't help but smile when I hear something like this. I remember the first music speedruns I heard were quite primitive. 
And it's great to see how far they've come. That was a fun level. All right, that's six down. It's looking pretty good for my beard, isn't it? Astronomia speedrun. So back in the day when goatees were the end thing, I grew a Duke goatee for quite a long time. I liked the look of that. Um, I don't even remember what really led me to, uh, to choosing a beard. Um, my jawline's not terribly strong, and so I think part of the reason I've, I've really liked a beard since growing one is just to have a little bit more of a defined jawline. Um, I mean, I don't look terrible without a beard, but I just, just like the look of the beard. And like I said, my wife doesn't hate my beard. She just uh, just wants to see me without it for a while, which, okay, I, I can see that. But uh, it's not going to come for free. Oh, dang it. If the timer's tight, I may be in trouble. <laughs> Got talking here. That's a good level too. Good mix of music and uh, a little bit of challenge there. I liked it. That's number seven down. Another Japanese speed run. Keep run. It was my uh, kids' spring break last week, so we spent uh, a few days at a uh, national park here in Utah, and uh, it was cold and windy. A little bit of rain, a little bit of snow, but mostly just cold and windy. And I will say, on those days, I really appreciate my beard. Keeps the uh, the wind from getting through to my cheeks. For that same reason, I will always have a beard during hunting season, because my face can't handle not having the coverage, <laughs> the warmth. That's eight down. A music speedrun from Japan. It's funny playing some of these older levels and the uh, indicators weren't quite as standardized as they are nowadays. Just some of them are backwards or whatever. It's just kind of funny to see that. It's interesting to think back to the evolution of this game. And across Mario Maker and Mario Maker 2, there's a lot of uh, evolution that's happened. Alright, that's number 9. Gravity Falls Speedrun from Japan. You know, there's been a lot of speculation lately about uh, what Nintendo's going to do Switch 2 and you know what games might be coming for Switch 2. I really hope Mario Maker is one of the games that uh, they continue. It's been such a great franchise. Great introduction into uh, to Mario for uh, almost like a whole new generation. My kids really enjoy playing it. Even my, uh, my six-year-old will play levels and I think she's created a couple of her own too. Um, just such an approachable game for any sort of skill level, right? Like, anyone can pick up this game and play it. Alright, that's number 10. Halfway through. Alright, at this halfway point, I feel like if I celebrate, I'm going to end up on one of those uh, celebrate too soon uh, fail videos. So we're not going to celebrate, but we will mark. We're halfway through this challenge. Ten more to go. Long and snowy speed run. Rated hard by the maker. Well, we'll see about how hard this is. Fairly intricate speedrun. I really uh, quite like it. It's visually appealing. Fairly interesting to play. Mm -hmm. 
Now, maybe my uh, my bet with my wife wasn't quite fair, because, I mean, obviously I've played a lot of Mario Maker. And so, maybe picking normal difficulty uh, stacked the deck in my favor. We'll see what she argues uh, after this, if, if I win. Maybe we'll have to up the ante if, uh, if this doesn't go her way. All right, that's a number 11 down. Nine more to go. 20 seconds, Thwomp Temple Run. The last time I uh, shaved my beard off, my uh, daughters had wanted to see me with uh, different colored hair, I think, or different colored beard. So I, uh, I used that spray in hair color and dyed my beard green. That was pretty funny. Bling, bang, bang, born speed run. Wow, say that 10 times fast. So after I uh, sprayed my beard green, I then uh, started shaving off just bits and pieces. You know, going down to Fu Manchu and other, uh, other types of cuts. And uh, I took pictures. The girls thought it was hilarious. Alright, that's number 13. We're making some good progress here. Another Japanese music speed run. I'm enjoying these. So as we look towards the future in a potential Mario Maker 3, I've been thinking about what I would want to see in the next generation of Mario Maker. And there's some quality of life improvements um, just in some of the way things work in the game that would be nice to see fixed. I think a real online multiplayer would be great, not one that's peer-to-peer uh, -peer, but um, server hosted so we don't have the lag that came into uh, <laughs> to Mario Maker 2. Uh, I guess for content creators, the lag uh, added a bit of excitement, but frustrating to play. I also would love if they added Wonder as one of the themes. Could you imagine if you had, uh, you know, user-created levels in the Wonder theme? It would be amazing. Well, that's number 14 down. Fire, Dash, and Jump. 20 seconds from Japan. This looks very similar to another uh, fireball level I played recently, posted on my shorts. If you haven't checked out any of my shorts uh, and you like this kind of level, um, check them out. Mostly, uh, mostly speedruns, some other challenges. I, uh, I like to have a lot of fun with those. Alright, that was number 15 down. Five more to go. Let's see if we can do this. 20 seconds. Cannonball Capers. level requires a little bit of uh, a little bit of attention but uh, not too bad not too bad I like that one so that is number 16 down an American made level 20 seconds switch block blast Ooh, that's kind of tricky I didn't know if I was gonna make that second one there That was a great level. I like that one. Zero's on the clock, too. Pretty tight timer. That's uh, number 17 down. Three more to go. Another Japanese speed run and keep run.
I didn't look at the clear rate on this one, but this one seems uh, a little bit harder than some of the others. I wonder if this is just like barely normal. Ooh, that got me. Alright, I think we're to the keep run portion of the level. Man, aren't I amazing dodging all these ghosts? For anyone who doesn't know, keep run just means that I'm holding run and holding right. I'm not actually doing anything in that portion of the level. Alright, good level. I like that one. And that's number 18 in the books. Splatoon, music speed run from Japan. You know, Splatoon's a game I uh, I got on the Wii U, the original one, and tried to get into it, and uh, man, it's just not my genre of game. I, I uh, the only first-person shooter I've ever really played much was uh, the original Halo, and that was when I got to play with my friends at uh, at LAN parties. Definitely much more of a platformer than a shooter. All right, that was number 19 down. This is looking pretty good for my beard. Zigzag in the Long Winter, an American level. All right, a lot riding on this level. Let's see if I can clear it out. Had a fairly low clear rating for a normal level. It was uh, just about 14%, so we'll see. So far it looks approachable, but uh, you never know what twist they might throw in. Man, I'm actually having to concentrate on this one. It's quite a bit going on, but it's got these uh, falling blue platforms, which if you've watched uh, some of my other videos, you'll know this is uh, some of my favorite types of uh, levels. Boom, number 20 down. That was fun, that was fun. All right, number 20 is in the books, done and dusted. Well, thanks for joining me on a little bit of good-natured fun. My uh, my beard survived this challenge, so we'll have to see what the next challenge is. Maybe we'll just step it up into expert levels, expert speedruns, and see if I can survive 20 of those. Or maybe we'll come up with another twist. If you have any ideas, throw them in the comments there. So uh, appreciate your time with me today, and we'll see you next time. And uh, yeah, like I said, give me your uh, ideas for any other uh, challenges or anything else I can use to up the ante on this bet with my wife.